Right, you have to sit down. Um, hi, my name is Tanner. Um, if you don't know me, I'd love to get to know you. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about humility, um, humiliating yourself and serving each other as Christ served us. Um, Enjoy the lights. Right, um, we're going to start off in uh, John chapter 13. If you have your Bible. And this passage, Christ is washing the disciples' feet, he's serving them, he's putting, his, he's putting himself lower than any other position he could be at in order to um, serve his disciples and those that he's been called to serve. Um, John 13, verse 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing the that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from the supper, he laid aside his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What am I doing? Or what I am doing to you, um, do not understand now. But afterward you will understand. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, The one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean. Um, but not every one of you. For he knew who was to betray him. That was why he said, Not all of you are clean. When he had washed their feet and put on his outer garment and resumed his place, he said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for I am so. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do, just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant, is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. In that passage, um, Jesus, this was right before he was about to die, dying the next day, um, being hung on the cross. He wanted to make sure that he that he showed that we were supposed to serve each other. Um, this is what, what his last message was to us: is that we should serve one another, and we should. We should be there for each other, and we should serve each other in His name, and, um, serve in the mindset of humility, putting ourselves lower than any other place we could be in order to serve, um, in order to serve our peers and brothers in Christ. And um, like back then, their feet they wore sandals and they didn't have all this luxury cleaning stuff that we have today. Um, they had dirty feet, nasty feet. It was terrible. Um, they walked on rocks and feet were all cut up. And tonight as we're washing each other's feet. I mean, don't let that get in the way, being nasty feet, because you have no idea what it was like. Um, like, in our culture, we have pretty much cleanest feet than any other nation in the world. Um, we have all this hygiene and stuff, and um, keep ourselves clean and smelling good and stuff, but that's not what they had. Christ didn't let that bother him either. He, was, um, he put that aside, he put all things aside in order to serve his, his brothers in Christ. Um, and also, Judas, in that time, um, it says that Judas was about to betray him. And Christ knew that he was going to betray him. He knew that he was going to turn him over so that he would be hung on the cross. But he didn't, I mean, he, he served him anyways. And tonight, if y'all have any tensions with anybody, God might be calling y'all to serve them. Um, just as he served Judas. And if there's any problems or anything, this could be a time to clear it out, to get that over with. By serving them, serving them in God's name, and humiliating, humiliating yourself for them. And uh, serving is not just something you do here, but it's something you do when you go out and when you're going with, like in, back into school and stuff. Serving not only by physically serving them, but helping them out whenever they need help, um, talking to them, sending them Bible verses and whatnot, keeping them accountable, um, keeping them focused on God, and. Christ, and uh, 
um, in this passage, he was, he was serving them so that they would know, like, when he died, what to keep doing. Um, their brothers, he says, um, go and wash each other's feet as I have done to you. Um, and then, truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. We are not greater than him, but we can still do what he did to us. Um, still serving, still serving for him, and um, his example for us should be followed by us because that's what he told us to do. And as brothers and sisters in Christ, we're supposed to serve each other, we're supposed to be there for each other. And um, back at camp, David was preaching over this, to be serving, to be servants of, of each other, um, the last day of camp. He's talking about this exact passage. And how many of you have served someone since camp? How many of you have washed someone's feet? Maybe not physically, but actually like helped them out so and that's something that we don't often do we kind of push that aside like serving someone putting yourself down to raise them up is not something we like to do um, we like to bring ourselves up and be greedy for popularity and whatnot and um, as David was saying that's not it's not who we should be we should be servants we should be servants from the heart and that God poured through us when we serve and it doesn't matter what attention we're getting. It could be negative attention, it could be positive attention, but that shouldn't be in your mind. You should be serving for God and not for yourself. So tonight, as we um, are serving each other, um, just remember that when you go out, it shouldn't stop. You should keep serving, and you should keep being accountable for each other and keep being there for each other. And um, like if someone needs help with something, be there for them. Serve them. Put yourself low so that you can raise them up. So just have that in your mind tonight, having a spirit of serving for the Lord and not pleasing yourself. As they come back up, just be praying, um, be worshiping, and if God calls you to serve someone, whenever after Connor speaks and y'all are washing each other's feet, go straight to that person. It's there in this room. If not, you can send them a text, let them know that you're going to be there for them. Um, but yeah, just... Pray and ask God who He wants you to serve.